All right, hey folks, we're out on the range today. Obviously, this is not my living room. This would be a terrible living room. There's bugs in this living room. What am I talking about? Let's do a video. Uh, and we're going over with one of my war belt setups. I got a whole bunch of these. This one's really cool. Uh, this one's by Blue Alpha Gear. There's a bunch of companies that make very, very similar designs. Grab whatever blows your hair back. But uh, anyway, cool design. It doesn't cost much. And this one's very, very durable. It's a clever design. So uh, I'll walk you through it before we dive in. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you don't mind. And right beside that subscribe button, there's a little bell that turns on notifications that makes sure that you don't miss out on cool content or lame content, depending on how well I'm doing on any given video. So that uh, I'd appreciate that. Also, everything that you're gonna see in this video, I'm gonna have links below in the description. So uh, that should make it easier for you guys. Make sure you don't get the wrong thing. It also helps me out. So let's go through the belt. First off, it comes with a Cobra buckle. Lots of uh, these belts, everyone's going to Cobra Buckle. This is how it works, right here. You push in on these tabs right here and it pulls out. It's a very, very, very strong design. This one also comes with a D-ring, so in case you need to, you know, uh, tether yourself into aircraft or something uh, uh, for tie downs, that can work really, really well. Uh, so uh, there you go. Also, this comes with Molly two rows of molly attachment webbing like so. You can kind of see it when I do that, where the molly goes through, so that you can take stuff like these STAC Kiwis, hold on just a second, and lace those through the molly right there, or you can get something like this uh, Blue Force Gear Med Kit right here, which is a belt mounted option, and it just goes over over the belt like so. So pretty cool design that gives you a lot of flexibility. It's a T-Rex Arms holster, Ragnarok, and uh, yeah, party on. This isn't the only piece of the belt. Uh, this piece right here is an inner lining. It interfaces with the inside Velcro right here. This receives it. So uh, first you put this on. This allows you to very, very quickly take your belt off or put it back on. Now a little tip, pro tip for uh, you guys putting on war belts to make sure uh, you nail the placement of the holster. This is the part that really, really matters. Uh, you know, for drawing and shooting, speed is based on efficiency, but you can't have efficiency if you don't have consistency. And that comes down to everything to where you mount this. So it's not here, 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 all these different options. So the very first one, I make sure I get it nice and centered. Go ahead and kind of practice my purchase. I'm like, yep, that's... Once I've got that placement, I can start working it around like so. Lock it in and it's on tight. There we go. And now I can jump up and down and it doesn't go anywhere, right? So uh, stay secure, very minimalistic. I'm comfortable in it. Uh, yeah, party on. This is a cool war belt. If you want it, get one. If you don't, that's okay too. But uh, cool design and I like it. Guys, train hard, train smart, and get cool gear because that's also fun. Uh, see you next time.